Hi folks, welcome to my lure tree at the fishing pond. I've lined up uh, 22 lures here that I've been working on during the past month. And now finally I have a chance to uh, display them and also test them, give them the first swim. All of them are hand cast from a bachi wood. Only this one is uh, made from linden wood and this one is made from uh, pine wood, all the rest of a bakshi wood. I'll give you some close shots of the lures now, okay? Okay, here we have a banana lure uh, of pine wood, foil plated. This is a smaller one of a uh, model that I've made before. It has uh, two counter-rotating spinner blades. A uh, Australian uh, stump jumper style deep diver. Another deep diver. Another stump jumper style deep diver. Here another one. Had problems with this one. It didn't want to uh, swim in the bathtub so I had to tinker on the lip. Here's one with the typical big finish uh, circular lip. Here's the top water bait uh, made after the shape of a Japanese uh, salt water lure. I've added a pro homemade prop of uh, stainless steel, a deep diver. Here the lure of uh, linden wood. Actually this one was a wooden salad spoon made during a, a craft work lesson for the kids. Bought this one uh, on the flea market. Another stump jumper style. One more with the circular lip. I've displayed this one in the bathtub before. Another stump jumper style. Here's the top water jitterbox style but with an Australian style lip. Just kinked, not cut. Another one with the circular lip. Displayed this one in the bathtub before. Here another one with a real big circular lip, a swim with knockoff, small crankbait. Here's another one, but this one didn't swim well during the first test. A Canadian wiggler shaped one of timber. Another lure with big circular lip. And finally another flat body deep diver. Okay, I'm going to give them a swim now. See ya. Okay folks, I've set up the camera here at the water's edge. I have not yet tuned the lures that I will do later. I won't do it in front of the camera because it will surely be boring. I'm just doing some cast now for display so it can be that the lures might swim to one side or so. This is uh, the one with a big uh, circular uh, finish style lip. Uh, I've displayed that one in the bathtub before. A bachi wood, unweighted. Oh yeah, it swims nice. Hope you can see it on the camera. Yeah, it requires tuning but no problem about it. It's unweighted. Yeah, first I thought it swam lopsided, but it doesn't. So as I said, I will tune them later without the camera. Not to bore you. Here's the uh, second one that I've displayed in the bathtub before trying to achieve a hunting lure also unweighted yeah this one also pulls to one side yeah but I think with toe eye tuning I could get a hunting action out of them as I've planned. I could not figure out about it in the bathtub. 
Yeah, but it blows out at faster speeds. Requires some tweaking of the tow eye. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it does hunt. Yeah. That's why I left the tow eyes a bit longer than usual to be able to bend them up or down. So now, some more round lip style baits. The round lips here, they are even bigger than the, on the previous two lures. But the following three lures, they have ballast in their belly. Yeah, if you increase the speed, it hunts to the side. But it's looking... Now it's hauled up. It's looking like uh, I could get them to perform well with toy tuning. But it's going to be delicate, I guess. Yeah, it blows out at higher speeds. But it does hunt a bit. Or what do you want to call it? Blowing out or hunting? <laughs> All right. Here's another one with the big circular lip but rather flat bodied but also has a uh, weight embedded into its belly this one goes down deeper I caught a leaf have to pick up the leaf okay do it again I really have to learn more about these baits with the uh, circular lips. It does hunt. But if you pull it too fast, it will blow out. It swims on the side like a wounded minnow somehow. Half dead fish. I don't think you can see it. It dives a bit deeper than the other ones. But... Uh, Provides a, yeah, provides a bit of flash. I have to learn more about this type of lures. Actually, these are the fi first five that I've made with these circular lips. Okay, now the last one with the big circular lip. The lips have at least one inch diameter. Oh, this one tracks straight. Probably, ac by accident, the toe eye is centered. You know, it pulls to one side. Also blows out if you retrieve too fast. Okay. There was a branch in the way. quite nice but as I said before all of these uh, baits with the circular lips require toe eye tuning not only left and right but probably also up and down okay I'm taking a break to uh, select the next batch of lures see ya okay now the next five lures this one is the deep diver with two counter rotating spinner blades one attached to the lip and the other one attached to the tail. I hope you would be able to see something. This one has a self-centering line tie. It doesn't dive too deep.
probably it would blow out if you retrieve it too fast. Oh, that's nice. I hope you could see something. Doesn't dive as deep as I ha would have expected. But it looks that it pulls to one side. And I thought, no, I'm wrong. <laughs> I should have looked before. It doesn't have a self-centering line tie, I still have to tune it. I was afraid that my self-centering line tie construction doesn't work. It has a fixed toe eye. Has to be tuned. I said before, all lures require tuning. So one more. I'm not sure whether you could see something. I retrieve it real slow, just underneath the surface, just below the surface. Oh, nice action, nice flash. Okay, as I said before, I have to tune all the lures. Okay. And now, the uh, pine wood banana plated with aluminum tape. quite heavy for a banana lure. Yeah, swims nice, pulls to one side, also requires toe tuning. But I uh, get them done. Pulls to the left, but nice throb in the rod tip. No complaints about this one typical banana action. I just wanted to have a foil plated banana lure. Okay. Next one is this little dude. During the bass top test it didn't perform and I don't think it would now. So I'm aware that this one is a reject. But let's see. Oh, there is a little throb in the rod tip. It does work. Wow. I'm happy. Only requires toe eye tuning as well. Nice. Nice. I can't see it. Maybe. Still has a good wiggle. That's strange. In the bathtub, it performed not as good, so uh, you can't really tell, obviously, that bass top blank tests are different to the final outdoor swim. So now, the big top water bait. I've seen a lure shaped like this on YouTube from a Japanese saltwater angler, but without a prop. So I was inspired. You see, it sticks the nose. Hope you can see it. Yeah, it's designed to be popped. Hope you can see it now. Can't see the camera display well because the sun is blinding. Okay, I cast it again. This thing is real heavily tail weighted. For the nose to stick out. Yeah, you can see now the red uh, diving plane, so to speak. Pop it on the spot. Nice. Really nice. This one could tease pike that you had located or at the possible sanctuary. That's a nice one. I like it. Yeah, so one more try for a steady retrieve, whether it would work as well. No, no steady retrieve. 
probably was toe eye tuning, but I don't think so. The uh, diving plane or popping plane in this case is just too large. Uh, you could jack it. But the main purpose is to pop it on the spot. Okay, that's another experimental that seems to work out. And now finally, the uh, jitterbox style lure. Uh, you see I've done an Australian style of lip, seen that on uh, some websites that down under the guys are doing that top water lures like this. And I was curious how this one would perform. So now I shall see. Uh, hangs a bit head down. Not as loud as a jitterbug. I'm missing out this Signif significant plop 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 sound. Not as loud as the jitterbug. But I guess it could still have an appear. Now it's fouled up. Belly hooks fouled into the leader. I'm not having a rigid wire leader on just to seven strand. Not good for top water lure. But these are the only two anyway. So one more cast with it. Oh. Is it fouled? Yeah, fouled with the leaf. One more. Oh, it works, but not as good as a jitterbug with a cut lip. Maybe I could still bend the flap somehow to get more action out of it. Okay, let's take a break and I'll select the next batch. Okay, now continuing with the uh, swim with knockoff. I'm sure you people are waiting for a pike to take these lures. Yeah, swims nice. You can't see it, it goes down too deep. So I'll do it slowly. Nice butt shake this thing has. Oh, as I said before, all lures require toe eye tuning. So that's what I'm gonna do later. They can only get better, not worse. So far I'm quite satisfied with the bunch. Uh, I was to say that, fold up, I was to say that um, maybe you are expecting a pike to take the lure, but they are reluctant today as usual. You must understand these fishing ponds are heavily pressured. and. Uh, Pike are also reluctant. I have caught a small one foot long jack today, but that was it. First pike in weeks. So, uh, temps must still chill down more. Yeah, this swim with knockoff performs as well. As I said before, all require toe eye tuning to let them track straight. Especially these ones with the circular lip are going to be finicky to tune. So now this uh, deep diver with a screw on aluminium lip. But this lip is, has a self-centering Omega clip. Yeah, and comes back straight.
a bit too much of a wiggle for my taste. Oh, but it's nice. Doesn't blow out. I hope. Let me check a bit faster pace. Oh yeah, it does blow out. Um, probably I could bend the lip a bit more upward. But I guess I'll leave it. Main thing is that the self-centering line tie appears to be working. Okay. Now the uh, Canadian wiggler style. Canadian wiggler is made of metal and a sinking lure. And this is a timber lure. Oh yeah. Pulls to one side as well, but has the typical swimming uh, action. The wide swing of the tail of that, also the original Canadian Wiggler sport. Yeah, no complaints. All require toe eye tuning later, as I said. But so far, I'm pretty much satisfied with this bunch of lures that I've been working on during the past month. This is a big one. Actually, it was the handle of a salad spoon that probably kids made at school during their craftwork lessons. I got it for 10 cents on the flea market. Oh yeah, nice lure. Pulls to one side. The two wires uh, Actually, it's a screw eye at the tip of the nose, so I can still tune it. That's a real heavy lure. Yeah, I should dive maybe eight feet deep. Rises slowly. Nice fall season lure. Yeah, no complaints as well. It has a pointed triangular lip. Something I've learned from Australian Baramundi lures. With such lip, it's uh, considerably long, but uh, because it's slender and pointed, you can still put the toe eye at the, at the, uh, underneath the tip of the nose. No need to put it on the lip. And still they dive quite deep. Okay. Uh, taking a break again. Okay, missed that one out before, the small crankbait. Um, would have fitted into the other batch. Yeah. Oh, it sinks. No. Suspend. No, it slowly goes down. Hmm. I need to fish it with a wire leader. Without the leader it would float. Oh, nice action. A bit too much of a roll, but it's okay. Alright. Now the following lures are all as uh, deep divers, more or less after the Australian stump jumper style or Kadaicha style. This is the biggest one. All of them have pinned aluminium lips with self-centering line ties. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Does not dive down too steep. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm retrieving it slow that you can see the action on the camera. I hope you can. That one's gonna go into my box for the oncoming fall season. And the self-centering line tie works. Doesn't pull to one side. Um, the self-centering line tie consists of an Omega clip, which is uh, loosely fitted into a slot in the center of the lip, fixed with a split ring. So the Omega clip moves about at least 20 degrees to either side. Oh, I like it. This one hunts a bit. That's nice. I had problems with this one. First, the, the lip was bigger. I had to reduce the size after the first bathtub test. But now it swims okay. I hope that you can even see everything. And I'm sure the video is going to be very long. Hope it's not boring for you. Oh, nice action. I love these Australian style deep divers. Okay. As I said before, all have this self-centering line ties. 1.5 millimeter, no, 1.0 millimeter aluminum lips. This aluminum is a hard alloy, not the ordinary soft stuff. Yeah, you, this one dives down steeply. I hope you can see something of its action. also comes back straight. Uh, so, one millimeter aluminum lips of a special hard alloy. So, uh, I don't think they would bend. All glued in with epoxy and uh, pinned with two 1.5 millimeter stainless steel pins. Oh. The self-centering line tie seems to work very nice. So I can get around the trouble of having to tune them. Yes, another one. That one won't go quite as deep. Yeah. Nice throb in the rod tip. I'm retrieving them slow, so maybe you could see it on video. They would surely dig down 10 to 15 feet or maybe more. Okay. My line is fouled up here around the leader. Okay, come on. Gotta unravel this thing. Uh, okay, I'm taking a break. Okay, pick the knot. <laughs> Here's another one. Had trouble with this one too. First the lip was larger. And uh, the lure blew out in the, the, the bathtub, I mean the blank. Now the, the line is wound around the rock too. Okay. So uh, I had to reduce the size of the lip as well. Oh, 
caught a leaf. It caught a leaf. That's Murphy's Law, just where I'm doing my video. All the robot swims on the water. Oh, this has a little hunting action. Probably it would blow out if I retrieve it very fast. Oh, that's, that's okay. Still has an action to it. Uh, here's a rather flat bodied with a, one with a pointed lip. Oh, this one pulls to one side. Even though it has the uh, self-centering line tie. Now I have to investigate what causes this. Probably I must to sh must shave the lip on one side. Hmm. This is the first one such would happen to me that the self-centering line tie does not perform. It pulls to the left. But now it didn't. Maybe only on the faster retrieve. Yeah, on a faster retrieve it pulls to the left, but not that much. Oh, still a nice action to it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, probably I have bored you enough now, the last one. Probably in future I shouldn't do 22 lures at one time, but I've just stored them down the workshop for a long time, and now I've got to test them finally. Oh, nice action of this one as well. Australian style lures with self-centering line ties. Body shape similar to a stump jumper with various lip shapes. Yeah, nice action. Okay, that was the lure test. Thanks a lot for watching. All right, people, just had a tough time tuning these uh, baits with the uh, circular lip finish style. You remember this one? Uh oh, uh, put it back. I've stabbed it. Uh, all right. This one and this one I've displayed on video before in a blank condition. Uh, in the bathtub. They are unweighted and uh, it's really tough to tune them. See I've bent the toe eye downward towards the lip. Still at higher speeds they blow out. They have a tendency to hunt so I found out the, the best way to retrieve them is to do a few uh, slow cranks and pause before the uh, before the bait blows out and then it will set again you start reeling slowly again and then most likely it can move to the other side so it's a sort of hunting action but i'm not quite satisfied um this particular bait or 
these three baits here, they even have a bigger lip than the other two. And uh, also I had a tough time tuning them. This particular one is the easiest to blow out. Though the three of them are, have belly in, uh, have ballast in their bellies. But you see this one has a very narrow cross section and see how big and wide the lip is. So it lacks sideward stability. That's why it's very easy to lay on its side and blow out. This one is fatter but has an over cross section, also this big lip. And uh, it does not blow out quite as fast as the other one. But still you have to retrieve it carefully and uh, stop uh, the cranking just before it gets to blow out. Or you retrieve it slow, then it starts to run stable. But uh, if you get faster, it has a tendency to blow out. But it, it, they do hunt, but uh, you got to take care with the retrieve. And now this one has the same size lip. It's a bit wider, but the, you see, the belly is deeper. So the, the ballast, which is located here and there, uh, has a better keel function. So this one runs very stable. You, you can uh, retrieve it very fast and it has only a slight trace of hunting. Uh, generally it comes back straight. I didn't even have to tune it. And it's a very finicky task, task to tune these lures. And I do not really have experience with it. Uh, I'm going to fish them these, uh, falls, this uh, oncoming fall season and see whether they would have an appeal to predators. Okay, just mean to tell you because on the tackle underground there's a thread about uh, hunting lures going on. So maybe you'd be interested to see this. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Okay, people. Hope the lure test was not too boring for you, because it took quite a long time. Um, I thought that this little dude here was a reject, but still swam well, whereas I'm not too satisfied with this one. And uh, this one obviously pulls to one side, but not too much. Uh, now I'm going to uh, tune all the toe eyes. Won't do that in front of the camera. I've played on your patience enough, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for your interest. Uh, goodbye. See you on the water next time. Bye bye. The little rascal pike. The first one in weeks. So tiny. <laughs> so tiny little pike this is. Oh, almost nailed my hand. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta watch out for the hawks. To get bigger, little rascal. <laughs> there it goes. Struck a homemade glide bait. Last turn. Very simple mate. Wait here and there. I've been using this model for years. I have quite a few of them. They work pretty nice. But only pipes should get bigger. <laughs> okay.